All right, my friends, quick video today. Um, many of us use these, right? Little USB sticks or external hard drives. I use a ton of external hard drives working on both my iMac and my MacBook Pro right here. And one of the things that we need to remember is that when we plug one of these in, we don't just yank it out, right? 95%, 98% of the time doing that doesn't damage anything, but it can. And that's, that's a big concern. So we want to make sure that when we have one of these plugged into our Macs, when we're done with them, we eject them. And I want you to remember that word, it's eject. So you'll see I have my MacBook right here. And I'm going to take this, and I actually have a USB-C adapter, so I can plug in something with this end into here. And I'm simply going to take that right here, plug that in. Okay, and it goes, should be good. This, of course, is going to now show up on the desktop. There it is, this guy up here. And we've probably all seen this. And I'm going to do this right now. You shouldn't. But, because I know there's nothing on this drive, you know, you take this and you give it one of these. And what happens is, normally, this one didn't do it, I don't know why, but normally what happens is you get an error message that pops up on the screen that kind of says, I, you shouldn't, you shouldn't have done that. And you're like, but how else do you do it? So, I want you guys just to realize, when you take one of these and you pop it in, and it shows up on your computer, right? So we pop that back in, it's gonna launch back on the desktop. There it is, okay. When we have this here, and you'll see I have a whole bunch of files on it, uh, there's a couple ways we can get, take this out, okay. Number one is you're gonna see your little trash can down here, right at the bottom, it says trash. Now when you take this and start dragging it, if you bring it down there, you'll see the trash can isn't a trash can anymore. It's a little eject button. Right? It still says trash, but it's not trash. It's just a little eject button. So if you drag that over top of that, it's going to eject it. Once the drive ejects, you're good to go. Now the big thing here to realize is you're waiting for the drive to not show up anymore. So if you just drag it and then pull it, you may pull too fast. So you want to make sure that that little icon disappears. Okay? Now the other way you can do it is right clicking. So on a trackpad, it's usually two fingers on a Mac iMac for instance a desktop usually it's the right side so when you do that you'll actually get a eject so you can click it right from there and it'll eject the drive again we're waiting for it to disappear from the desktop then we know it's safe to eject last way in the way that I usually use is by using a shortcut so we want to make sure it's clicked on because whatever is clicked and highlighted is what we're what we're utilizing or what we're working with so it's highlighted, you can tell it's got a little ring around it. The, the wording has a little blue highlight on it. And we're gonna go down to our keyboard and we're gonna use the little command key right here. So the one either right or left of the space bar, you're gonna hold that down and you're gonna hit the letter E. So E for eject. Once you hit that E, tap, let go, and wait for it. See how it takes a little bit of time? That's okay, we're just waiting. As soon as it's done ejecting, that'll disappear. Gone. Now we can safely come down here, pull this out with no concerns at all. Because if we yank it too fast, and you, you'll see this, sometimes that drive will eject, like as soon as you hit the eject button, it's like done. Sometimes it takes a bit of time. And it's the ones that take a bit of time means that there was some drive activity that was happening. And that's what we want to let the computer finish doing. There's a reason it was working with that drive. So giving it that time, be patient. I've seen an eject take 30 seconds. I've seen an eject happen like as fast as you hit it. So you got to wait for that icon to disappear. All right, guys, quick video today. How to eject, and that's anything that has storage on it, right? So anything that shows up on your desktop like this, that's where we want to eject that. So SD cards, your camera cards, your USB sticks, external hard drives, use that eject. All right, guys, I'm going to leave you there. Like, comment, share, subscribe. And, uh, oh, yeah, hit the bell because more of these coming. And we'll, we'll see you guys next video. Later, my friends.